now you're looking for the good husband. And I don't know, have you heard of Father Josiah Trenum? Yes. Yeah, he, he, has a on that. he does have a great series on this. It's like a five-part series. Um, I encourage everyone to, to look for it. Um, Father, Father Josiah Trenum, uh, his series on the good husband. Um, he has his five categories, but I, I'm curious um, for you uh, advising young women. And obviously this is what it comes down to, right? You're marrying someone who's going to be a good husband and father. And these are the, the most important things, qualities, traits you should be looking for. Um, after you put aside the, you know, the more vain things like uh, appearance and, and uh, financial ability, um, what are what are those uh, more important categories that women should be looking at? Yeah, so um, you know, there's so many out there, and it, it really comes down to what you know. God has painted us uh, this picture of like who He is, because we're trying to be like Christ, right? the husband is called to sacrifice like Christ, you know, sacrifice for the church. And um, I'm looking for somebody who is really close to God. And I think that's like the glue to any good relationship, because, you know, no matter what temptations we come through, you know, hardships, tribulations, whatever it may be, if God is my center, and that's who I have my eyes set on, then I'm going to do everything to please him. And all the right things will start falling into place. Uh, and it's very hard to pick up on that when you're just friends with somebody or you see somebody. Right? I'm not talking about being a churchgoer, right? I'm not talking about being a deacon or being a servant or having a certain outside appearance, but really, truly, like at the heart of who he is, is he God fearing? Is he trying to do the right thing or is he, you know, following the world? And where are his standards? Where is his morality? Where is uh, all the things that he's, you know, trying to do. And out of that, right, out of all, you know, um, the godly things, then you start to see somebody who is, uh, you know, honest, trustworthy, um, all the wonderful things that we're looking for, somebody who's respectful, who's loving, who's compassionate, who's kind, uh, who's not selfish, you know, all the things that we read in uh, 1 Corinthians 13 of what love truly is, right? It does not envy, it's not boastful. Uh, and it's, it's really sacrifice. Um, and this is why people say all the time, you know, relationships are not easy yeah. because it's putting somebody else above yourself, like all the time. It's exhausting sometimes, right? It's, yeah, yeah. But really that's the mentality we should have is I'm going to give a hundred percent of myself, not 50, 50. And I need you to meet me halfway. But if everybody in the relationship has that mentality, I'm going to give a hundred percent. I'm going to give a hundred percent. We're always giving, we're not just waiting to receive and we're not just taking, um, and, and that's in itself a beautiful thing, but you can't have that. You can't have somebody who's a giver if he is not looking for those godly qualities to attain those and to really live those out. Mm 